Why do ribs break during CPR? In CPR, the doctor must press the chest two inches deep. This is this much of a distance. This manually pumps the heart. This pressure is greater than normal rib tolerance. So in 70% of the patients, the ribs break during CPR. And this is not wrong. If the rib breaks, but the patient's life is saved, that is a success. The emotional pain of rib fracture. A rib fracture does not only cause physical pain, it mentally exhausts the person. Because the person cannot sleep properly, cannot take a deep breath, cannot laugh, cannot sneeze, cannot sit up normally. Even coughing feels like torture. The person develops a fear of breathing. If I breathe deeply, it will hurt. If I cough, I will scream. If I turn, the ribs will shift. This condition is called fear of breathing and it's dangerous because the shallow breathing causes mucus to settle in the lower lungs, leading to infection, leading to pneumonia, which can lead to ICU stay. So the main treatment of the rib fracture is not plaster, it is breathing exercises. Healing process, stage, time, and experience. Inflammation, day 1 to 14, worse pain, bone. Healing begins week 2 to 6. Pain slowly reduces, callus formation, week 6 to 10 days, new bone bridge forms, and bone remodeling, week 10 to 16, bones become strong again. But emotionally, feeling normal while breathing again can take up to 3 to 5 months. Confidence takes forever to come back. So the real question 